Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you how to tag the area of a field region in Revit. For that, we're going to create a field region. I use that every day for my roof train calculation. So we're going to create a field region first, and then we're going to create a tag that's going to be able to read the horizontal area of that field region. And then we're going to create a project parameter that's going to make it possible to input a vertical area for that roof train. See you in Revit. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right, so what I want to do here is create my field regions and use those field regions to calculate the areas that I'm going to input into my roof drains. So for that, we can come to the Annotate tab, and then under Regions, I go to Field Regions. And then I'm going to do a rectangle. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to end it right here. And just click OK. And now I know that this field region, if I click on it, I know that it has an area of almost 2,000 square feet. But I would like to be able to tag it, right? So if I do TG for tagging and I click here, it turns out I don't have anything loaded for detail items. I cannot tag detail items unless I have the tag specifically for detail items. So I'm going to go ahead and load one. So I'm going to click yes. And then I'm going to bring in a detail item tag. And I'm going to try to tag it, right? Now, if I click here and I go edit family, what I want to do is add the area parameter. So I'm going to come here and here under the label, I want to add the area parameter. Turns out I cannot do that because detail items don't have the area as an optional parameter to bring in. Quite annoying. So the work around this is I'm going to create my own tag, right? So forget about this. I'm just going to create my own tag. I'm actually going to do undo until I don't have that tag in my project. I'm going to go file new and I'm going to create a new family. And then under English Imperial, I'm going to go into annotation and then I'm going to do a generic tag. I'm going to click open, delete this. And then you will be tempted to say, okay, I'm going to come here to family categories. And instead of generic annotation, I'm going to go to detail item, right? Detail item tag. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to come to create, create my label and place it here. And again, I don't have the area here. So that's the frustrating part, right? So what I'm going to do is temporarily change this instead of a detail item into something that I know that is able to calculate area like a floor, for example. So I'm going to go to floor tags, click OK. And now I'm going to create my label. I'm going to drop it here. And then here I have my area, right? So, so I'm going to click OK. But the problem with this label is that this parameter here is going to read the area of the floor. And I don't want to read the area of the floor. I want to read the area of my region. So for that, I need to change it back to detail item. But before doing that, I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. And now I want to change it, right? So I'm going to go back to detail item tags, click OK. And now if you wanted to keep it like this, you'll notice that if you go to the label, the label is not reading the parameter correctly. That's what we copied into our clipboard. So I will just delete it from here and then go to paste, align to same place. And now if I click on my label and I go to edit, I do see that it's reading the area. And this is the area of the actual element, the area of my generic annotation. So I'm just going to modify a little bit, edit type. I'm going to take it to 0.75, like we always do here. I'm going to keep three, three seconds here. And I'm going to shrink this. And let me see. And then as far as the display, let's go here. I'm going to keep it square feet. That's fine. I don't need to round to two decimal places. I'm going to round it up to zero decimal places and hit OK. Hit OK. And now let's load it into our project. Let's see how it's behaving. There you go, it's right here. And then what I want to do is add a suffix that says square feet. So I'm going to come back here, click on it, edit the label. And then we want to add as a suffix, a space, SF for square feet. And then OK. Let's load back into our project, override existing version. I can add a prefix to it and add an H and then column and then a space. Load into project, override existing version. 
So I know that the horizontal component is this in square feet. So let's see if we can add to our label a share parameter. So new share parameter, select from plumbing, AJS storm area vertical. Okay. I'm going to add it here. Then I'm going to add as a prefix a V column and space. And then as a suffix, I'm going to add space and square feet. I forgot to add a break right here because I wanted two different lines. Click OK. Stretch a little bit. So this is what I want. Horizontal area and vertical area. Let's give it a try. Could probably add that as a project parameter. Let's see. Manage project parameter. Let's add a share parameter. Select from plumbing. AJS storm area vertical. And let's have this apply to detail items and click OK. And click OK. And let's see if I click now here, you can simply fill up whichever value you want right here. And there you have it. We can probably make this a little prettier. So let's go ahead and click here and then edit the type. Let's show a little border here and click OK. And then load into project, override existing version. That's a lot better. There you go. Now think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click that bell, you get notifications, and then you don't miss any of our videos. And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com, and over there you can contact me directly for some professional training.